Hello everyone, welcome back to Sermano CT Prep. Today we're going to go over chapter 3 of College Panda, which is exponential and linear growth. Let's look at question 1 here. If the initial population of rats was 20 and grew to 25 after the second year, which of the following functions best models the population of rats p with respect to the number of the years t if the population growth of rats is considered to be exponential? So, since it's exponential growth, what we need to do is calculate the percentage increase which turns out to be 25, subtract by 25 over 20, which is 0 0.25. So the rate is 1.25 because you have to add 1 to the result you got here. And thus, the, the model can be modeled by p is equal to 20, 1.25 over t. So the answer is b. Question 2. If the initial population of pandas was 100 and grew to 125 after the first year, which of the following functions best models the population of pandas p with respect to the number of years t if the population growth of pandas is considered to be linear? So, the constant increase is 125 and we have to subtract it by the initial, which will give us 25. Therefore, the slope must be 25 and the y-intercept is 100 because the initial is 100. Since it's 25 and 100, it must be a linear equation. So it's 25t plus 100. So the answer must be 8. Alright, let's move on to question 3. The population of trees in a forest has been decreasing by 6% every 4 years. The population at the beginning of 2015 was estimated to be 14,000. If P represents the population of trees T years after 2015, which of the following equations give the population of the trees over time? So we can calculate this by calculating the uh, exponential decay rate, which is 1 minus 6%, so it's 0 0.06. And this will give us 0 0.94. And since the decrease only happens at once every 4 years, the rate that should be applied is t over 4. So the correct answer must be d. Question 4. Which scatter plot shows the strongest positive association between x and y? So, to find what's the strongest, you need to find something that's as close to a straight line as possible. And here, in this case, it's evidently C. Alright. Question 5. Jamie owes Tina some money and decides to pay her back in the following way. Tina receives $3 the first day, $6 the second, $18, third day, and 50, $54 the fourth day. So, which of the following best describes the relationship between time and the total amount of money cumulative Tina has received from Jamie over the course of these four days? Well, 3, 9, 18, uh, 54. Alright, so what do, you guys, what do you guys see here? It's obviously, it's going up exponentially, right? So the answer must be exponential growth. Question 6. Albert has a large book collection. He decides to trade in two of his used books for one new book each month at a local bookstore. Which of the following best describe the relationship between the time in months and the total number of books in Albert's collection? Well, each month, Albert loses a book, right? Because he decides to trade in two for one. So there is a constant decrease. If it's constant, it can't be, it can't be exponential. And since it's decreasing every time, it must be decreasing linearly. A scientist counts 80 cells in a petri dish and finds that each of one splits into two new cells every hour. He uses the function a t is equal to cr over t to calculate the total number of cells in the petri dish of the t hours. Which of the following assigns the correct values to c and r? All right, so. You know that the cell doubles every hour, right? So the rate must be 2. And the initial count must be 80. So the correct answer is D. Let's move on to the final question. Of the following scenarios, which one would result in linear growth of the square footage of a store? So 5% of the original square is constant, right? And it doesn't change. 
which would make it a linear growth. So the answer must be C. Yeah, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more videos on uh, further chapters.